I lived with constant fear for years. As soon as old bruises healed, I received new ones. This 41-year-old Rockville resident explains what she endured under the hands of her abuser. Others are possibly facing the same violence in their homes now during the COVID-19 shutdown. I want you to know that the Family Justice Center, the Montgomery County Crisis Center, and other county agencies are still here and offering services to help victims of domestic and other forms of violence and abuse. Chief Marcus Jones says recently, the Montgomery County Police Department's Domestic Violence Unit has seen a 25% increase in case assignments. And many of these cases have involved knives and guns. County Executive Mark Elrich and several other local officials just launched the Family Violence Awareness and Prevention Campaign. It aims to provide free resources for all county residents who are experiencing family violence. We want everybody not to be afraid of being home and we want everyone to feel safe. And in this time, we know that the, the challenges are going to increase and we want to make sure that people know that we still have our support systems in place. Informative cards, stickers, posters, and social media graphics with a message like this will be shared at places like essential county businesses and local restaurants. County Family Justice Center has remained and will continue to remain open and fully functioning during this public health crisis. Anyone who is feeling unsafe at home due to family violence, violence is encouraged to call the Family Justice Center at 240-773-0444. That's 240-773-0444 for assistance. Shedding light during dark times to help those in need. We are trying to tell people and, and get the message out is you are not isolated, you are not alone. We're open for business. If you're a domestic violence victim, we will help you. When you reach out, county providers will provide you with trusted services to address your individual situation. The county's commitment to valuing my life, keeping me safe, and overall helping me build my power is what drives me to continue to serve my community. Jordan Lindsay, reporting for My MC Media.